Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to take a look at the Pow Kitty X18S brand new handheld system from our good friends from China. I've really really wanted to showcase this but I've been so ill and thank you so much for the support. I'm a lot better now so hence the videos. So moving forward there will be lots more videos to come. So the box is simple, it's very plain, it does have some type of, I'm not too sure if you're going to be able to see it on camera, but it has some type, like a glittery effect on it, not that you can see. It has the symbol which is on the system itself, which is like a really dodgy Mercedes logo. But yeah, not too bad, a little bit of info on the back, but that is it. So let's get into the unboxing, guys. This was meant to come out, oh God, I knew about this February and it should have been out on April the 24th. But obviously delay after delay after delay after delay. I did do some testing on a tablet, the M40. Then basically just had a little bit of an insight of the chipset that it was going to use or similar. That was really, really exciting to see what you could do. Because I did test the M40, I find that this is, is going to run GameCube, it's going to run Dreamcast, you know, it's going to run PSP perfectly. Uh, we should be able to get some really, really good results with it, which is amazing. It's oh. So here it is. Okay, so on first looking at the colour, it's more of like a, it's got like a red hue. So it's like a warm grey, like a, yeah, it's not, it's not like an SNES grey or like the grey in the background that I have for the GameCube, but hey ho, it's still very nice. So let's take it out the box. I did have dramas with a lot of people saying that they had lots of issues and problems with it which was quite crazy I, my original one that i had i had dramas and problems with mine obviously it all got resolved but still i think the, the beginning of a launch for anything is dodgy but this was like probably one of the dodgiest yeah uh, oh god yeah it was a absolute kerfuffle but it's here it's stable it's now got on its second batch of handhelds now being done so that's pretty cool it's got lovely grill speakers on the front. I do like the silver grill. It looks really, really nice. I do like the design. I, I, I do. I've had the original one, which was terrible. You had to like easy ROM and then it, you got the best performance out of it, but it still wasn't exactly amazing. But yeah, this is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So it's a clamshell design. So nothing too spectacular. I do like the design on it, that it's not just flat. It has got like raised bits on there. We have our usual shoulder buttons. Very, very nice. Not too loud, but feel really responsive. We have our micro USB is pretty cool we have a mini hdmi and we have our sd card so it's not too bad on the bottom there is nothing we do have a headphone jack which is at the front on opening it up we have our usual abxy now they are responsive but they are slightly mushy they've got like a mushy feel to it but not too bad. But they seem to be very low profile. I know it's because it's a clamshell, but still, they could have been a little bit maybe raised. Maybe not. Who knows? But yeah, they're fine. Now, I've used these before. They're more like a PS Vita. There's no L3 and R3, sadly. But if they are using it on the system itself, whether it be an Android, you'll be able to map the buttons to it anyway. So it's not too bad. Or remap them in the options we have at the top a 
back button, home button, bringing up all the options that you have to either change them, swap them out, or we have a power down button, we have a game mapping button, and then we have volume. Start and select the D-pad. Now, this D-pad is better than the one on the original, but again, low profile, so low that it just makes doing angles virtually impossible. It feels very mushy, but it does have a clicky response to it, so it does bounce back quite well. Yeah, so overall, not too bad. I'm not too sure what this is at the top. Maybe it's something to do with the screen sensor. Who knows? But yeah, uh, it's it's exactly the same as the original. I think the only things that will change is the D-pad, the buttons, the screen obviously will be better, hopefully, and also the USB charger. So they're the things that I've noticed straight away that are different. So I did notice there was a screen protector on it and that is coming straight off. So my first impressions, I do think they should have went with a new design. I do think it's a little bit cheap. The fact that they've gone for an original design that's a good few years old now. But yeah, it's not too bad. I like it. I know it's going to be comfortable in the hand for about maybe two hours, three hours. Then it will start cramp, you know, you start getting cramps and stuff like that. So I'd love to know what you think of it, guys. And what I'll do is I will... Come back in a tick and I will should have everything loaded up and ready to do some performance testing. It won't be super in-depth. I'll go through as many systems as possible, but I'm sure you guys are interested to see just what is capable of the new Palkiddy X18S. So I've had a chance now to load things up, mess around with it, do a bit of tinkering, only a little bit. There will be some amazing things that this can do. This, the stage and the point that I have it now is where I'm happy that everything is running, but I'm not sure that if I've done enough to make sure that everything is running to its optimal performance. There was a few things that like I know that I could still do and search for. Let me give you an example. So if this is the interface, by the way, if we go to our settings, as you can see, it's pretty smooth. The interface is really, really nice and snappy, which I like. So if I go to my apps, so say for instance, if I want to play GameCube or Wii games, then I've already put on the Dolphin emulator, but I've put on two versions that I've found to be the best that I've found so far. So I know there's so many different builds that will be neither great compatibility for it, and likewise with Citra, uh, not too much with your lesser systems like N64, Dreamcast and so forth. They'll be just fine with the standalone emulators that you have. But I am using MMJ builds and also a standalone version also. And a mixture between the both will be done because the games work better on one than what they do with another. So this is going to be a trend right the way through with this. I think as we move forward with it but yeah i think the interface is is nice i think the screen is lovely it's got really strange viewing angles like it, it kind of like shadows and gets not very bright but then once it gets to another certain angle it goes bright and responsive again so it just seems really really weird i don't know whether it's something to do with the glass being so reflective maybe who knows i'm not too sure it is very, very vibrant. I will put the specs on the screen for you now, just so you know what is under the hood. Okay, so let's get into some gameplay. What I'll do, guys, is I will just shut up and let the games do the talking.
take you a silo, fella. You better get this fat ass bitch up from my back pronto. Gee, so many people around here want me to solve their problems. What are you gonna do for me then? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I say I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You get rid of that freaking mouse cutter, and maybe I'll help you out. Just maybe. Oh, just one more thing. I say, just one more thing. You make put into my friend Bird. Just mention my name, Jack, and everything will be just dandy.
So in the settings, I just want to show you that I'll be using no frame skip, Vulkan backend, two times resolution, everything on high, show FPS counter, okay, we're done.
As you can see, you're not going to have any problems with PSP. Some of these games you can take up to 3x resolution, even 4x resolution. It's just those harder to ones that I left. But two times resolution is more than enough and it looks absolutely beautiful on this screen. And as you can see, guys, it was running full speed and it's the same across the board on majority. The only one that I tested that didn't run was Killzone, I think but everything else I tested has worked. So that's another really great sign for the X18.
Excuse me.
predicting your fall with the power of a thousand winds. Now, concentrate. See yourself grasping the wind. Harness its energy. actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Excuse me.
Okay, guys, there's so much more I want to show, but I'm going to call it a day here. I will do another video, guys, and then I will do lots of videos breaking down each because there's just a... Wow, an epic amount of stuff to show. So I've got, like, Dig as a front end, which I want to sort out and get up and running. Like, oh, the, the you've got the multimedia side, which is, like, YouTube and everything, which is just fantastic to have. Really is nice. Plays really, really well. 5G Wi-Fi, so it's it's really, really nice. I've got Drastic still to show. Xbox Games Pass works absolutely fantastic on it. I'm really, really happy with it. So I want to show that off. A few more games I want to show off. Retro Arch I want to show off. I want to show off a dedicated video for Dreamcast. Uh, show you Citra. I want to find a good build to put on there. Uh, continue to search for really good yeah, performances for improving the quality of that on Dolphin emulation as well. So I'd love to know what you think, guys, because this is, yeah, oh. There's so much you can do and there's so much stuff that you need to do to do it. It's just a dream come true for me. Now, with the controls, the controls are... yeah. The, the more I play it, the more I get used to it. It's just about getting used to it, really. So, yeah, I think that you'll just grow into the actual controls themselves. They're not the best and they're not ideal. But we do have touchscreen capability for the majority of everything. So if you like that style... Yeah, you, you've got the Google Play now, which is really, really good as well. So it's, um, yeah, every everything is there at your disposal. So I'm really, really, really impressed with it so far. Uh, I'd love to know what your thoughts are, guys. Have you got one? Did you have a good experience like myself? Not at the start, obviously, because obviously I have to put the firmware on there and so forth, but I'm sure everybody's got theirs sorted out like mine now. There is a bit of a glare on the screen. I'm going to try and sort that out, guys, just so I can do better video quality for next time. But I just wanted to get this video done. So I will be covering a lot more on the X18, guys, over the next couple of weeks because, yeah, I think this will develop as it moves forward as well. More people get their hands on it, find out different builds. It will just get better and better and better. Uh, I I just think it's a little powerhouse. It's really nice to have that power in the hand. It's really, really cool. Like I played Mario Strikers for like four hours, which was just absolutely incredible. I absolutely loved it. So yeah, love to know what you think. If you want to see lots more videos, guys, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing for plenty more videos on this, guys. And as always... Take care.